Today, two sea turtles recovering at the Georgia Sea Turtle Center were released at Jekyll Island. And for the first time since the pandemic, a crowd cheered those little turtles on. On your side's Renata De Gregorio takes us there. Cheering on Jekyll Island. The first time crowds have been able to gather for a sea turtle release in three years. We were so, so excited. It's so magical. But it's been a road of recovery for female loggerheads Margoy and Jeannie, brought from the Jacksonville coast last spring and summer. Margoy and Jeannie spent less than a year here at the Georgia Sea Turtle Center. They were in rough shape when they came in. Jeannie was a boat strike injury and she had a impeller blade that struck her somewhere on her head. We actually had to put screws and wires in order to help get that back together. Margoy was uh, a debilitated turtle. She had a lot of epibiota on her shell, which are barnacles and leeches and algae. At the end, you're just making sure they can hunt for live prey. We make sure that they can do all that before getting released out into the ocean. And now the day has come. These two, each around 200 pounds, return to the sea. They each needed a little nudge, or five. We knew that they were going to make uh, an appearance. <laughs> then a dip under the water. A return to the ocean. Our turtles are home. On Jekyll Island, Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News, on your side.